So the fundamental difference between TypeScript and JavaScript is the TypeScript support strict typing and JavaScript does not. What does it mean? It means if you assign a value to a variable, you can't change it later in your program. Now, there are two types of strict typing in TypeScript. Number one, type inference, wherein TypeScript infers the data type of the variable based on the value that you are assigning to the variable. The other is type annotation, when you are explicitly mentioning the data type of the variable. Now, in this video, we are going to focus on type inference. Type inference takes place when initializing variables and members, setting parameter default values and determining function return types. So in this video, we are going to work on the very basic data types like string, number, and boolean. We'll cover arrays, objects, and functions in much more detail and I'll create a separate video on each of these topics. So stay tuned. Now we can define a string in JavaScript using either the single quote or the double quote. So you can use the same concept in TypeScript as well. All right. So in here, if I just hover over this, all right, so you could see there is a colon after this person name, and then you see the data type which is string. Okay. Same way if you assign a numeric value, now it could be whole integer or the fractional value because in JavaScript we do not have the concept of integers or floats. So every numeric value, be it the whole number or the fractional number, is represented by the single data type which is number. So now if you just hover over this age variable, you see the colon and the number. Alright, this is all happening because of the inference okay now in sports okay so you could see colon boolean so like we said we can't change it at later point of time in the program let's try it so we say person name is equal to if i try to sign a numeric value we see an error let's hover over this and we say type number is not assignable to type string okay this is not allowed same way you can't do it like let us assign the value false which is a boolean value so same thing right again not allowed but what is allowed in here is so you can sign it a new string value okay that is allowed okay so no problem in that same is the concept with numbers let's say age is equal to string value okay not allowed all right so we again get this error because of the type inference concept okay in typescript so type string is not assignable to type number but you definitely can assign a new value to this variable new numeric value okay same way the same concept is applicable to boolean types as well so if you say in sports is equal to yes, it is not allowed, but you can set it to true. Okay, that is allowed. Now we're definitely going to cover these in much more detail, but let us hover over these array of type string. Okay, mix array, right? This is of type string. And then you have this pipe symbol number and again pipe and boolean right so this is basically the union type okay so this type inference is not just applicable to the straightforward types it's also applicable to the union types as you could see okay then it's also applicable to 
an object and you could see it is clearly telling that this object must have these two properties and these properties should carry these specific data types then if we move on to this this is a fat arrow syntax and since there is just only one line of code in this function so we can get rid of return and those curly brackets and we can directly write length into bread now if you hover over this right so using colon and you see this right this is you can say the function signature we are also going to cover function signature in a future video all right so now besides this this type inference is also applicable to contextual typing now we have to understand how is it working this far so you assign a value which is on the right hand side of this equal to symbol or operator right and the type is getting set on this variable name on the cases that we have seen this far we can say that this type inference information is flowing from right to the left the important point to be noted here is when is this information flowing this is happening while you are doing the actual development before he, when you have compiled your TypeScript file down into JavaScript file, right? So that way is you can catch these errors quickly. The type inference also work the other way in some cases, right? So this is known as contextual typing. Contextual typing occurs when the type of an expression is implied by its location. Let's see an example. So we use the document object now and we say dot on mouse down. Okay. And we say function event is the parameter. We just say event dot button. So this property is there. The moment I say console.log event dot try let's say okay so here the typescript type checker use the type of document dot on mouse down function to infer the type of the functional expression on the right side of the assignment when it did so it was able to infer the type of event parameter which does contain a button property but not a try property all right let's see another example of contextual typing of course so we say document dot on click again equal to we say function write the same thing event And then we write event dot button. Okay. Now in this example, TypeScript knows that the event parameter is an instance of okay. So this you could see is an instance of mouse event because of the click event. So TypeScript knows that. However, what will happen if I change the on click? To on scroll all right so from click to scroll event now we get this error okay TypeScript knows that the event in this case is an instance of UI event and not a mouse event and UI event does not have the button property therefore TypeScript throws an error in the upcoming videos okay we'll talk more about arrays objects and functions so i'll see you in the next video thank you so much